Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another analysis of Yoleno TV. And I'd like us to go straight into a certain comment by Sabina Chege. And this comment Shabina, Sabina Chege made soon after William Samoy Ruto made his speech at the official opening of parliament. Of course, as usual, politicians will always want to criticize the, uh, the president's speech. But for this case, the president made some speech that most people have interpreted as, you know, campaign speeches. But Sabina Chege's concern was not, was not really about the speech, despite the fact that Sabina Chege was concerned about what the president said. But the focus of Sabina Chege was on the charge capture. Dear viewers, you know, two to three days ago, I did an analysis on the charge capture. And in that analysis, I demonstrated why Kenya Kwanza government was hell-bent in capturing all the churches and making sure that all the churches are literally members of the UDA party. And for today's analysis, like I said, we delve into that Sabina Chege's concern. And Sabina Chege is concerned about the manner in which the churches are being only involved in this Kenya Kwanzaa government. But before we get into that analysis of what Sabina Chege, Chege's concern are, please, I would like to urge any first-time viewer who has not subscribed to our channel to please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. You can give us a thumbs up. You hit the notification bell also so that every time we upload such meaningful videos, you'll always become the first person to get notified. Now, before we dig deep into that analysis, let's watch this video by Sabina Chege. Maizing or the cost of goods, and he said they are not going to look at any you know, subsidies. So when, when the border, border person was looking forward to hear that the cost of fuel has gone down, so when you say again you're not going to give um, the subsidy, so then what are you telling us? So there were many unanswered questions. Yes, short, popular. You have seen for the first time we had many clergy coming to Parliament. Um, and uh, we have taken the longer, you know, praying, which is a good thing. I'm a God-fearing person. But again, we need to see how we manage it. I think for me, uh, having one clergy, maybe a traditional person and one Muslim was okay. And I, I think maybe we have overdone it. Um, but anyway, I'm judgment. I'm not judging. But it was a good thing, but again, very prolonged. Right. At bottom line is, when we talk about... Now, I started by saying that yesterday was the official opening of the parliament and the event was graced by the sitting president, William Samoy Ruto. So the concern of Sabine Chege about that event was that the way religion is being misused to probably, you know, literally cleanse the Kenya Kwanzaa you know, shortcomings is a thing that most Kenyans should start questioning. You've seen previous events, like you saw even in the when when William Samoyoto was conducting his first cabinet sitting, you know, convening his first cabinet sitting, he prayed to the people. Well, I've not been following what Uru Mugia Kenyatta, uh, Will and, uh, and uh, the former president Mwai Kibaki, Moi and even Jomo Kenyatta used to do when during these cabinet meetings. But in the case of Kenya Kwanzaa, we saw the president himself praying. That was, you know, okay, fine, symbolic in a way. And then prior to that day, on Sunday, there was a church session that was convened at Karen's and at the president's Karen house. That was also a religion, a religion kind of thing, the church capture. We've seen a series of this whereby the churches are involved. A day prior to that, Rigadi Gachagua has attended, you know, another event somewhere whereby he of personally invited the bishop there for a church se session, Thanksgiving. That this, that's how they call it. So many people have been saying that the Kenya Kwanzaa if is overdoing this church thing and that they should go get to business and fulfill mandates to fulfill to the people of the public of Kenya. Many people have linked this uh, alienation to the churches to having been a reason why the Kenya Kwanzaa government is trying to buy time, you know, trying to endear themselves with the churches 
because they believe that the fulfillment of they believe that the promises that they make they made during the campaigns are things that are very hard to achieve and probably the only way the only place they can seek solace is in the churches and that like in my previous analysis should the church should, should the Kenya Kwanza government fail to deliver they are likely to have the churches to defend them the churches are likely to defend them because if you look at the trends now you know most of these church leaders are finding themselves as being part and parcel of this government they would like to defend the government especially when they cannot deliver to the people of the Republic of Kenya so Sabina Chege has termed the government's act as misusing churches and it was evident during the opening of that parliament session so to you ladies and gentlemen are you in agreement with what Sabina Chege said or are you in agreement with what I posted previously about the church capture I think it is evident in the way the Kenya Kwanza government are running their operations that everything they do they involve the churches of course the churches always pray for you but you have to take bold measures and implement and take bold decisions and do exactly what you promised the people of the Republic of Kenya and most people are trying to tell the Kenya Kwanza government please stop stop it please there is no point of you hiding behind the churches because you find yourself not being in a position that you can deliver to the people of the Republic of Kenya so ladies and gentlemen allow me to urge you any viewer you know who has not subscribed to our channel to please take a moment and subscribe you can hit the notification bell like I said previously you can also give us a thumbs up and until we meet again I would like to uh, to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed <laughs>